is this sit at home really working? Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv. For those who are not conversant with this, it is the order given by Mazenam the Kano, who has been kept in the custody of the Nigerian government, the regime of Major General Mamad Wari. And of course, this happened because the government of the day, the regime of Wari, had support from certain elements in the south of Nigeria, southeast of Nigeria. Now that Namdekanu is under lock and key, and his expectation is that the Sitatum will pressure the regime to consider releasing him, but that is not the case. Sitatum will not, you know, push the economy of the Southeast up. It is going to reduce their economy. They will be poorer. That's what it is. And this does not affect them. I mean, when I say them, you know the group of people I'm talking about. It's not really going to affect them per se. Um, they have money. You saw the dirty money that they hid. They have money hidden that will last them for 100 years. But let us look at the economic implication of this. And is this going to force the government, this our government, this type of government that we have in Nigeria, to look into releasing Nam the Kano? Now, this sit at home has brought about certain groups we don't know if they are pro Biafra, if they are IPOB, or they are unknown gunmen. They have attacked and killed people across the Southeast. They've killed Igbos. Igbos that they believe are not listening or agreeing to the sit at home. Now, there is a man called Simon Epa. Simon Epa, according to the reports we are having, reactions that we're having, some have called him a terrorist, some have called him this and that. That's because there is this dichotomy there is this division um, there are people who are followers of Nabekanu and the group and the and the the the, the emergency committee that he created to handle affairs as he is in detention as he is in jail prison now we've not seen someone who is um, outspoken like Nam the Kano in that IPOP group, someone who can handle and take over. I think um, Nam the Kano did not foresee this, or he was worried that someone else would take the shine or something. Um, the group that was created, the committee that was created to handle, to give instruction, we didn't see someone who will step in. Since the deputy to him had a fallout and he's on his own we've not heard anything from him till date he tried creating a group but he's not as loud as you know what we want he's not even saying nothing anymore at this time so we observe that there is nobody taking charge from the committee we've not heard anybody speaking continuing or were they giving order to pipe down because of the can so they can negotiate his release we don't know now Simon Ekpa decided to take over Ems of Alfair. He decided to do what he needed to do. He came out, he asked for access to Radio Biafra. He wasn't giving because they don't want him to take over or take the shine. You see, it's about someone hijacking or taking the shine. I thought he should have been giving access to so someone giving access to speak. And the person can be monitored. The committee will monitor the person. If the person is not moving in line, it will be cut off. I don't know what and what happened. You see, it's not easy to have a nation and to plan a nation and to move progressively. It is not easy. Now, Simon Ekpa, according to the report, gave the order for Sitatom, emphasized on the Sitatom. And, you know, right now, people are not even obeying the Sitatom at all. To them, this Sitatom is counterproductive. They are not sitting at home for nothing not going about their daily business, who is going to give them food? How are they going to put things together? So, according to correspondent who monitor the situation around the towns in the southeast on Saturday, particularly Owere, in most eight, um, they saw that people got married, um, people were in attendance, even though people have been murdered, people have been killed to enforce this sit at home. Uh, they saw students going about their end of the party, you know, year party, and people went about doing what they needed to do, even though gunmen had on Friday attacked various parts of Owere and a virus killing people, all for this seat at home. 
Some of the persons killed were Prince Chidi Ieme, elder brother to Nollywood actor Osita Ieme, probably known as Popo. Um, also, a policeman was allegedly murdered at 7 Up Junction at Oji on the Oweryo Kigwe Road. Four persons were also killed at Umuna in Onu Imo, local government area, and at Umunachi in Isiala, Mba, non local government area, respectfully. Also, two expatriates supervising construction um, around the Wiri, Okigwe Road were also kidnapped. Now, people are not happy. They are not happy about this, and reactions trailing it will let you know what people are saying. They say Simon Ekpa is a terrorist. They said Indigos need to do away with Igbos in diaspora. They take them to them at home. They said, um, you are the ones putting yourself in arms, so you are the one you know, bringing down your economy. This government will not listen to your sit at home. You are just killing your economy, killing yourself. This government, if they hold on to someone, if you like, die. They are ready to kill anybody. You are not affecting the economy for them, per se. That's it. And, you know, Simon Epas, they say, your days are numbered. And may the blood of the innocent that you have shed on yourself, you know, they say, Simon Epa. We we'll never know peace. Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa, you are in Finland. Simon Ekpa this, Simon Ekpa that. Well, if it were Nnamdi Kanu that gave this instruction, will you say the blood will be on his head? That's the question. If Nnamdi Kanu called for sit at home, would you say blood of... Or people never died when Nnamdi Kanu was in charge, was in control. People died. People died. So what are we saying here? We don't know these people who took over guns, ammunition to murder their own people, hoping to push them. What is it? What is going on? How can you kill your people to get them freedom? What is really going on here? Now, some people said it is not Biafrans that are doing this. They say it's political parties that they are using this opportunity to kill opposition in the name of sit at home. And they say Simon Ekpa is simply doing what Namdekanu would have done. But uh, unfortunately, this is turning into a deadly circus. It's turning into a bloodbath. Wow. Well, uh, this this is what it is. This is what it is. I am not in support of killing people, although I do know that at times when you are moving forward towards progress, there are people amongst you, people among you, people who speak your language, people who are supposed to be in support. They will be there as Judas. They will be there to, as saboteurs. We know this. And those people cannot be left because they are the cancer that will deal and kill, you know, that, that will break everything. But then, should we go about killing them? That's it. So, this is Simon Ekpa, or whatever he calls himself, is an agent of destruction of Igbo land. That is, but I think this is more or less about uh, um, people who probably are not the support of Simon Ekpa. That's it. How I wish Simon Ekpa would return to Nigeria, but he can't. He would have returned to Nigeria to do all of these things, but he can't. Most of these people stay abroad. They didn't have the who stayed abroad. Um, apart from when he came to Nigeria and he had to run out, rush out, these things, they are not easy to tell people to go and do this and do that when you keep yourself, you know, somewhere isolated and you are telling them to do this to do that. Um, what are your thoughts? Let us discuss it. Do you think, let us not be emotional about this. Let us be very clear-minded. Do you think Sitatum will affect this Nigerian government up to the point of bringing out the name they can do because some people are sitting at home? Is it affecting the people who are sitting at home even much more? We know that we are talking about sacrifice here, but is that sacrifice enough to get result? Drop that in the comment section. And if you're just coming across this platform, you're not a member, let's build it together. It is free. Tap on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below to alert you whenever videos are dropped. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.